Now, the reason I'm going to change this out, I'll show you, see if it'll do it. Oh, settings is working today. Okay, usually, did you see that come up just then? Usually when you hit settings, okay, that's actually working right now. So, a big problem with these units, there's a lot of things. Black screen of death, BSOD, or mashing buttons and it mashing a button you didn't mash. So, I, a lot of times, it's working right now, like I said. You hit settings, usually it'll hit nav info. And you didn't mash that, you mash settings. And today, it's working for some reason. Got a navigation chart. Now what? Everything's working. Yeah, for right now, until it warms yeah, up, it warm and then it'll up. start yeah, it'll jumping. Be, it will. It will. Yeah, I love Garmin's, man. But this 741, man, it's a piece of shit. It really is. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it is. It was good when it was was, was what it was. Yeah. The guy, he said, oh, that's a tragedy. Um, your 941 or 943 is what you need to put in here in place of that. But Garmin's in the business of selling GPS is not fixing them. And Simrad's that way too, because I got some Simrad 12s. One year out of warranty, they will not take them and look at them. Even for money, they won't. No. It is company policy not to work on their stuff after five years. Yeah. Tear up every GPS on that boat too. It's got yeah. a pair of Simrad 12s in it. And we got a GPS on there that's about to, about to spit it, I think. But in this boat, we can't, we got to have, like, yeah, we got to have our network system right. I think networking and then, them, yeah. And then the, the sonar is on the backbone of the NEMA network, I think. I think that's how we got it. That's so nice, technically, yeah. this should be plug and play, but I'm telling you, watch what I'm telling you, it won't be. We're just gonna power this All unit right, up. Make sure. Down, let's let's just yeah. Let's show y'all what we're doing here, kind of. We're gonna put the network cable Obviously in. Obviously, his hand is the most likely thing you're seeing, but we're just gonna plug and play it. And All right. See. So we got that. Let's go ahead and get Nema in there. That way, everything's hooked up. Nema fell over this side. There's the Nema. A few moments later. And it almost fits in there. It sure does. He said, almost. He said a half I mean, inch off each I don't side. even know if it's a half inch. No, he Lord. said a half inch total. We'll put it in the main helm. Yeah, main helm. All right. Add, add any other display. display. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so, look here. Wait, wait. Yep. Hit so add. Add on. Yeah, there we yeah. go. There it is. Done. Nice added. Okay, done. That's one and two. All right, yeah, look yeah, yeah. There we oh, go. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, that's all your spots. Yeah, that's there's my stuff down in the Cape Stewart and stuff. And there's the oh, oh, buddy. Whoa. Wow. Well, it plugged and played. It did plug and play. <laughs> that is a nice unit. It is very nice. That is very nice. It weighs about 14 pounds. It does. It's nice, though. So now... All we got to do now is cut it out. They're talking already. It was so simple to set up. I don't know if y'all, it happened so quick. There's a quick finger over here. It was hitting <laughs> the button so quick. But this one knew it was on there to ask, said yes, add unit, and then everything worked. Listen, guys, the antennas on these 942s, uh, they're bad, the internal antenna. So we're going to bar the antenna off this new 943. This used to be pulling the antenna from the 741, this junk. We don't got a heading, we don't have anything. It's not booted up at all, yeah. antenna-wise. We're going to go to settings, we're going to go to system, you're going to go to GPS, and then you're going to hit source, and it'll say built-in, which is the unit right here That's itself. That's the default, yeah, and it, it don't, it don't and work. It doesn't work. So you go right here to GPS map, 943SXV, we're using this we're unit. Use that antenna. Antenna, we're so you tell click on that, that. And look at there. You got it. So, yeah. So we go home and we go to fishing chart, except the and look terms. here. You got a heading now. We got everything. You got everything. You got a GPS speed. I don't know how we're doing four miles an hour or whatever it just said, but we are. <laughs> and now everything's yeah, just that quick it grabbed that antenna. Yeah. It wouldn't do on its internal on. Again, that's the 942 known internal antenna problems with the 942 XS. Very good unit aside from that. All these spots are on both units, of course. 
And so if the units are compatible network wise from the NEMA network, um, you'll have everything. This unit, you see it moves a little slow. This one, it, this one rolls. <laughs> This is way faster of a unit. Oh, it's fast. Processor speed. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad I got the antenna fixed. Yes. It only took. The two looks exactly the same, except it don't work. Only takes two thousand dollars to get a, a, a new antenna. No kidding. <laughs> for real though, these units are you can get them for twelve and thirteen hundred, but you're not getting nothing with it. <laughs> Everything's all connected up there, yeah. Software update, smart notifications. Look at that. All right, now we're going to guys, So, when I talked to Garmin, I said I got 741, it's out. We won't fix it, right? First of all, secondly, if this unit is a direct replacement for the 741, yep. and they're going to sell you as such, and it's it's not a cheap unit, you know, no. it is a network unit. Uh, I don't know which echo map would fit, he told me, but I didn't want an echo map, uh, so. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're not gonna have to do too much to get this to fit with the jigsaw. Not much cutting at all. Garmin does this really nice thing where they give you a paper cutout to put on there and go ahead and do your template. It's not very conducive to uh, jigsaws though, but usually what we do since we already have a hole cut out is we're just gonna shave it. But if you were setting into a new piece of starboard or Lexam, whatever you're doing, you would you would take and put this template on there yeah you tape it up line there. it tape it up line it up and everything and it shows where the top of your unit's going to be in the bottom of your unit so it's going to be a little taller it looks like than this one but the screen size which is right here you can see is the same Makita. yeah that's love the, only way to go. the only way to go so it looks like we'll have to go in right there Uh, let's see what we got. Bam. Boom. So you're right. So, so uh, about no. a quarter inch off the sides, eighth inch off the top, but top and bottom. There you go. Yep. Ready to roll. And now all we got to do is mount it. Everything's probably going to come on as soon as he hits this in the network right here. It's probably going to power up everything. This is where you want to make sure you're level. So watch your hand, RL. We'll put the bevel on this sucker. Click, click. That one's good. We're going to hear the click, click. We hear the click, click. There it went. Click, click. Oh, three clicks, four clicks, ten there clicks. There it is. There it is. Yeah, boy, that's pretty. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Awesome. Looks, no.